uh, sitting here with uh, Eric Jones, uh, the unfortunate uh, loser of that last quarter final against Greg Negrazia. Um, Eric, um, did, you feel, did you feel things start to slip away sort of midway through once Greg started getting his legs, or how did you feel things started? Uh, no, I felt like I threw Greg through the whole thing. Uh, the chop he made, um, usually that goes for me, but someone must have been missing something in the shop there. So if that goes instead, Frank 10 is a whole different ball game, and I don't have to be perfect through the whole thing. So, otherwise, I felt great through the entire thing. It's the same thing I felt against my first match. I mean, it looked from, a, from you playing, it looked great. Like yeah. You were dialed in, um, throwing great shots, you know, a little bit of energy early on. Um, now, what do you think when your opponent starts with a three pin? And then he gets up again and throws a three pin. Did anything go through your head, or are you just really thinking, uh, that's fine, it's just, you know, get the first couple of the way and we're going to be in a match? Yeah. Uh, it's something you have to capitalize on, so that's what I was trying to do, and I did. But, you know, at any point, any of us can throw a three pin and immediately come back with a strike, which he did. So yeah. I knew that it wasn't a sign of things to come. It was probably just a sign of him shaking off the cobweb still. Now, he finishes 9 and 10 first, so you have the opportunity to finish the best frame uh, last uh, and have control of the open uh, in 9. And then he opens in 10 and finishes with a 301, and your max score was 302 if you bang out. Uh, obviously, you know that. Uh, anything different going through your head when you're about to do that, or just execute one at a time? Execute one at a time for sure. I knew I knew I needed the turkey. I threw the turkey at Brian, so I knew I had I had every right to throw one. Uh, but at that point, you you do press a little. You, I knew I needed to be perfect, so in the second ball, uh, my feet got ahead of me. That ended up on my toe, and I I had a good follow through, but it wasn't where I needed. It. Yeah, it's tough to forget that when you start to block your feet a little bit. It's such yeah. a small little game. Well, listen, there. You know, great, uh, great season this year. Uh, congratulations, on making it to the finals. You won your first match, uh, and you go home with a little bit of money in your pocket. So I know we'll see you again. Uh, congrats, and best of luck in the future. Thank you. Okay, we're sitting with the winner of our next quarterfinal, Greg DeGrazia, who played against Eric Jones. Uh, Greg, that was a little bit of a rocky start. Um, you know, three pin in the first frame. Regroup yourself. Three pin in the second frame. Um, were you a little bit nervous? A little bit? What was happening in the first couple of frames? Yeah, I just uh, felt like I had two or three of those start. And I kind of just didn't take a minute and get a little refreshed and be like, okay, what should we do? Okay. Punch three, three pins that are called. So once you once you spared that second one, uh, the second three, three, that kind of like, oh, okay, there was my strike shot. Let's settle in. Let's, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Then from there on, um, it looked like you were aiming left pocket. Is that something that you were aiming for? Or that every strike seemed to be for the next four or five for left pocket, left pocket. It was just dialed in. Um, I wanted to feel more. So if I can stand in the same spot, just keep the ball going the same ball, like my left side's more like my heel side to hit. But yeah. I can go back and forth. Good. So, you know, Eric, on, yeah. the, on the flip side, had a, had a good start. Was rolling well. Uh, won a few frames early. You know, it was up to you about 3 1. Uh, and then you start seeing a couple of carryovers, and you start being able to run the strikes. After after a couple of those, you start to feel more confident. You got it back to 3 3. Were you going to match that? Yes, sorry. That's all good. Uh, <laughs> Eric had, had a good start, right? And then you had a couple of carryovers. Uh, once you were able to get it back to 3 3, you were still on a couple of strikes. So that's sort of that moment where, like, okay, my confidence is there, and I just got to keep throwing my shot, and you're, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. So it felt better, and you know, I just kept doing, trying to do the same thing, and it just started to work. Yeah. At, at, at one point, um, you know, at the tenth frame, Eric had the opportunity to bang out. Did you start doing the math in your head a little bit on the ninth and the tenth frame, knowing the max score? You had five frames, so at that point, you just need to make sure that you had enough to score. Um, you missed the corner pin and nine. Um, did you start to sort of think about the score a bit? Yeah, I'm a very mathematical guy, so I knew exactly what I needed to do. And when I missed that corner pin spare, I mean, that put a little more pressure on me. And then when I missed the middle on that last shot, I knew that the little more would be taken by one or two. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? Congratulations, obviously. First match in your belt. Um, you got the next one coming up. Uh, when you, you play Jordan Schultz in the next match, any thoughts there against Jordan? Um, we've pulled against each other many times, so just, just going to go up there and do the same thing. Yeah, you know, try to get the same game that one too. But maybe not the three pin. Yeah, maybe not the three pin first frame. Yeah, just start with one three pin. Well, good on you. Get yourself ready. Uh, congratulations. We'll see you next match.